Besitz, Frau Hoff. So, seven minutes, starting now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A few weeks ago, the people you see here didn't know that a disease known as club feet would actually play a role in their lives at some point. Now, after a few weeks of video conferences and three days of intense hacking, we don't only know about club feet and its treatment, but in particular, we are proud to present a prototype of a device that could actually support a gentle method of treating club feet. Club feet is a disease that touches about one to two babies in 1,000. The feet of the little babies did not properly unfold in the mother's womb, which means that when they are born, as you see here, they are folded inside. We think that there is actually a need for certain innovation in therapy. The standard of care, the most conservative one, is surgery, which means actually cutting and replacing tendons in order to correct the position of the feet. It's quite a basic. An alternative would be casts. They are fairly rigid, they block the children's feet up to the hip, but they slowly redress the feet into the right position. We could also go for manual therapy, where a highly skilled physiotherapist performs regular exercises on the children's feet to derotate them and bring them into the right position. You still need some little casts, but they give the child much more freedom than rigid casts. Take a look at how well this works. This is little Nicola when she was born. You see the feet are rotated inwards. She, they are fairly rigid, she has trouble moving them. And that is a few years later, after treatment by a physiotherapist and also regular exercises by her parents. I dare anybody who's not an orthopedist or um, physiotherapist to notice that she actually had club feet before. Well, the manual therapy requires extremely precise gestures. It requires a highly skilled individual to apply the right pressure at the right point and to transform it into the right movement and the right rotation. You don't only need um, a therapist to do this, you also need to teach an easier form of these exercises to the parents. This simply takes time. It's not just about watching what the other person is doing. It's also about understanding it, learning how to practice it under supervision, which means that you actually, even if you think you know what you're doing, you still need somebody to watch you, until you actually master it. It's a process that, at the current rate, can take several years. Obviously, where we want to come in is in providing support for training and quality control. We want to provide a feedback device, a SOC, that accelerates the training process, and we also want to provide quality control such that the person performing the exercise actually knows what, or what, she, what he or she is doing is, is the right thing. The concept is not just a SOC. It starts with a device a sock that you actually see here, to record the pressure, the position, as I said before, the rotation and stretching. But once you have this data, you actually need to collect it. You need to be able to compare it to some kind of ground truth. That's where machine learning could come in to derive some standards that the real-time exercise could be compared to. And finally, you want to give feedback to the person performing the exercise. Visual feedback, possibly acoustic feedback, or simply sensory feedback, a vibrating sock, for example. For the hackathon, we had to focus on two main areas, the sock and the first visualization. We dived into sensors. We learned a lot about them. For the pressure sensing, we're using four sensing resistors. This little round thing you're seeing here. We also use flex sensors and inertial measurement units, also known as gyroscopes, to record the position and most of all the movement of the foot. All of this is connected to an Arduino that transfers the data to the software. We had several SOC prototypes. Those of you who were here yesterday saw a prototype with a single detector. By now it looks far more complicated, still very prototype-wise, but the goal is actually to go towards a system that would be comfortable for the child to wear flexible for the physiotherapist to perform the exercise. And you can already guess, that's an adult foot because the detectors are making. One of the challenges we have to go for in the next weeks and months is to actually miniaturize the size of a baby's foot. 
Once you have the signal, well, for the moment, we have to limit ourselves to basic visualization, 3D rendering. What we have right now is a foot that can move around three axes. You're going to see this soon in the demonstration. We're able to visualize pressure, but it's still a long way to provide real-time feedback and compare it to the original, to what actually has to be done. Medias is about accelerating training and enhancing quality control for manual cloud theory. Our concept is a song. We will require data evaluation and perception for a person uh, using the system. During the hackathon, we were able to validate the concept and the prototype. And before coming to the end, I would actually like to show you what the prototype looks like. We need to switch screens. In the meantime, I would actually like to thank Ursula Isler and the team from Zurich. They have a website, cloudfos.ch, that actually gave us the idea for the sensor saw. And most of all, that were here for the entire period of the hackathon, supporting us with their knowledge of cloud for theory. Whilst we try to just show you data, for those of you who've seen the film Matrix, that's what it looks like, that's where you got the data from. That's, you see now Julian moving his foot in real time, and you see that we're able to show the foot movement. We are also able, now Anne is a physiotherapist, when she actually touches the right points, we see that some of the sensors provide data. Obviously, it's not yet the perfect visualization, but within three days, being able to record pressure, a different level of pressure, for us is already a big achievement. I hope we were able to convince you about the power of a hackathon in matters of combining hardware, software, and medical knowledge. And we're definitely looking forward to any questions that you would have. Besides this, we're available on medias.ch. Thanks for the support to provide us with the website. Thank you very much for listening.